Hi, I'm Sheriff Ron Montgomery, and this is news from the Sheriff. The Bargain Box invited myself and the Canine Unit to their annual picnic on Sunday, September the 17th. They presented the Sheriff's Office with a very generous donation for the Shop with the Sheriff program and our Canine Unit. We are so thankful for their support and generosity. These are do-it-yourself child ID kits. York Pocosin Sheriff's Office personnel participated in the Yorktown Market Day's first responders market on September the 9th. Our Crime Prevention Unit was there to hand out important information to parents and goodies for kids of all ages. It's really small, way out there. The emergency response team was also there to show the citizens some of the latest technology and two of our canine were there, Sabre and Sarge, who entertained just about everyone who passed by. On August the 26th, the Sheriff's Office participated in a back-to-school supply event at the River Mead apartment complex in Yorktown. Over 200 elementary, middle, and high school students were provided with school supplies and personal hygiene items, thanks to all who donated. The York Pocosian Sheriff's Office recently went through the Virginia Law Enforcement Professional Standards Commission inspection. They come out certified to teach. This inspection occurs every four years, and the Sheriff's Office must show compliance with 191 accreditation standards. These standards require our agency to have policies that guide our actions in four categories, administration, personnel, training, and operations. In addition to the policies, we must show documented proof of compliance with each standard annually. I'm proud to announce that not only did we pass, we received a perfect score of 100%. I will post the written report of our reaccreditation on our Facebook page in the near future. On September the 9th, I had the pleasure of delivering opening remarks to the 2023 Virginia Triad Conference at the Great Wolf Lodge. This event is sponsored by the Virginia Attorney General's Office. Lieutenant Jason Houston with the Sheriff's Office assisted the Honor Guard with presenting the colors for the 2023 conference. On September the 14th, alongside federal and local law enforcement partners, the York Pocosian Sheriff's Office assisted in an investigation that resulted in 26 defendants being charged for drug trafficking. This was a multi-state operation and the defendants faced charges of conspiracy to distribute and possess with intent to distribute marijuana, cocaine, fentanyl, oxycodone, cocaine base, conspiracy to launder money, use of a communication facility in furtherance of drug trafficking, distribution of fentanyl and marijuana, and possession of firearms during drug trafficking. Several very dangerous individuals have been removed from the streets. Deputy Sheriff Brittany O'Brien was presented with the Sheriff's Office Deputy of the Quarter Award for her work and professionalism during the second quarter of this year. Due to her commitment and hard work, a dangerous, violent offender is off the streets. Deputy O'Brien goes above and beyond every day, and this case is truly indicative of that. This month, Jason Stump celebrates his 20th anniversary with the York Pocosian Sheriff's Office, and on September the 6th, 2023, was presented with the Virginia Forensic Science Academy Alumni Association Crime Scene Officer of the Year. I'm incredibly proud of Investigator Stump, not only for receiving this award, but for the hard work and dedication he shows to the citizens of York County and the city of Pocosin on a daily basis. Our deputies continue to receive autism training to learn how to better interact with the people that they may encounter who have been diagnosed with autism. The autism magnets are still available for placement on the rear of your vehicle to let deputies know that there may be someone with autism in the vehicle. Oh, yeah. The Sheriff's Office is also happy to announce that we now have stickers for vehicles to let deputies know that there may be someone with Parkinson's disease in a vehicle. If you would like either or both of these, please email us or stop by the office at 301 Goodwin Neck Road to pick them up. The National Faith in Blue Weekend will be held October the 6th through the 9th this year. National Faith in Blue Weekend facilitates safer and stronger communities by engaging local law enforcement officers and local residents through connections of faith-based organizations. Events in York County will be advertised on our Facebook page in the near future. And finally, October is also National Crime Prevention Month, a time when the National Crime Prevention Council asks us to renew and emphasize our commitment to take a bite out of crime. So we will do our part and share a crime prevention tip each day for the month. 
Our number one crime prevention tip, as always, is remove your personal property from your vehicles, lock your car doors. I'm Sheriff Ron Montgomery, and this has been News from the Sheriff.